Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have started discussion on Kafka consumer internal architecture in detail and we basically went through this particular diagram, right? Here in this particular diagram, we have seen that if we are having auto commit feature as true, that is basically this particular enable auto commit this parameter for our Kafka consumer, if it is true, then what happens? That once the polling step is complete, automatically a auto commit timer starts, which will wait for a certain amount of time, which is by default 5000 millisecond or 5 second, depending on the value of auto commit interval millisecond. And then after that, it will make a commit in our Kafka broker, right? Now, this particular enable auto commit, sometime we might not be interested to keep true. Okay. That is instead of Kafka doing commit, we might be interested to take that responsibility in our hand. That is, we will make a commit. Okay. That means if we are keeping enable auto commit as false, then what is the architecture? Let us try to understand. Okay. So here today I am going to discuss manual offset commit. Instead of enable auto commit equal to true, we are going to keep enable auto commit as false. And in that context, how it works with at least one processing. Okay. So here, like earlier, we are starting our Kafka consumer by instantiating it with key deserializer, value deserializer, group ID, auto offset reset is latest, which is default feature. Even you can configure as earliest and enable auto commit in this case is false. Okay. So obviously, like earlier here, polling mechanism will happen first. They are basically the consumer will request for new messages to Kafka broker from that particular topic in which the consumer has subscribed. So this particular line is going as you can see fetch record request. Now the broker will first check whether it is initial fetch for this particular consumer session or not. If for that particular consumer session it is the initial fetch that means the consumer is requesting for the first time from the broker because that just now spinned up. Okay. So obviously as a first step Kafka broker will do rebalancing as a default feature. And once it does rebalancing, it will send the records from the assigned partitions. Earlier where actually it was having committed offset, from the next offset, it will send the messages to the consumer, right? Or else if it is not the initial fetch for that particular session, if it is second or higher than second time request, then obviously by default it will go to the no path and here it will send the events or messages from the assigned partition as a response to the poll request, okay? And then here earlier we were seeing that auto commit timer was automatically started, right? But in this case, this particular stuff will not be there. But rather this poll will directly be connected with this particular step that is collect record. So all the records will be collected, whatever the poll request received as response. And then here processing starts. Okay. Now here individual record the consumer will be picking up and process maybe it will be storing in some database or some activity it will do and then if we are having some more records it will make again the loop back to the collect record step and it will process the next record like that it will process all the records whatever it has got or received as response and then at the end what it will do it will commit the offset once all the responses are processed then it will commit the offset in the Kafka broker and then again here you can see it is going to pull step. So this is again making an infinite loop. And here also as you can see as drawback that suppose in the poll response we got 10 messages and out of that 3 messages are already processed. And when the 4th message is processing then suppose some error occur what will happen directly this particular flow will be interrupted and as soon as error occur it will again go to the poll step okay so again it will make a request that means suppose in the middle of execution if error occurs then there is a possibility of reprocessing of messages again right because suppose 10 messages i got out of the three messages already i processed and in the fourth message error occurred so due to error the commit will not happen and again it will make a poll request so the same set of 10 messages it will be returning as response of that poll so again that same set of 10 messages it will be starting processing and then here first three messages will be reprocessing eventually okay so in this kind of manually when we are committing the offset then also we can see that there is a possibility of reprocessing of same message that's why this architecture also confirms at least once processing of message okay but suppose it returned 10 messages for processing and all the 10 messages are processed successfully now if commit will happen 
so the next committed offset will be having incremented value by 10 and it will be committing in the committed offset right so next time when the broker will send the messages then the next 10 messages it will send it will not send the same 10 messages right that's the beauty of this particular architecture that is here in this case instead of kafka doing commit in the back end automatically here we are taking the responsibility of committing the messages okay and i hope the architecture is clear to you this is all for my this video thank you for watching